The measurement of the structural quality of software is giving us a whole new dimension to add into productivity analysis. Traditionally, when we analyze the productivity of software development and maintenance, we're looking at the amount of product produced measured either in function points or lines of code or some other measure of the size of the, uh, the product uh, divided by the effort required to build it. Uh, the, frankly, people argue about the kinds of size measures. The biggest problem we've had is getting accurate effort measures. But nevertheless, we typically have measured productivity as the amount produced divided by the effort to produce it. Uh, the only problem with that is that I can produce an awful lot of garbage in a very short time and then divide, divide it by that short time and it looks like I'm very productive when frankly I've delivered something that's going to take an extraordinary amount of maintenance in order to make it work well to enhance it for the future. So traditional productivity measure has not given us quite as much as we had hoped for in terms of, of analyzing what the future costs are likely to look like. Uh, and so the analysis of structural quality gives us this other dimension. It's not just how much I produced, it's how good the thing I produced is. Because that's going to tell me what my future cost will look like, what my cost of ownership is. Uh, the better the quality of the code I've produced, the cheaper it's going to be to make enhancements to it in the future. The less time I'm going to, to spend in the future on uh, correcting defects. Uh, and so my future work is going to be more productive because my current work might appear to be a little less productive because I've taken the time to produce higher quality code rather than just slam out something that's just a complete mess and is going to be hard to maintain. So structural quality analysis gives us a whole new dimension to add into productivity measurement, to be able to look at the productivity of what we're producing now in terms of productivity required to produce high quality code that gives us cheaper code to maintain in the future and allows our future work to sustain the level of productivity uh, that we're trying to build. So this is very exciting. It's a new development. It gives us a, mu a much different way to look at productivity both now and better estimates of what future productivity is going to look like based on the quality of the product we've produced. Uh, so this, this is a whole new world for productivity measurement.